Welcome back everybody to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to make ourselves the fabricator. Um, I have ground out all of the materials that we need to make this. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. And then of course the next thing we're going to work towards is a hunting rifle. And then after that we might be pretty much ready to go. Um... My knife is getting low though, so I'll either probably either make a platinum knife or maybe even a titanium knife if we have enough titanium left over to do that. Uh, so let's see, where are we going to put this thing? Um, I don't know that we need to make any more concrete, and if we do, we can always just put this back down. So let's pick this up and we'll just store it in the workbench along with. Uh, all the stone, well, maybe not all the stone, but some of the stone. Let's take that out and put this in, that in there. Okay. And, oh, seriously? Come on, game. You're killing me, man. Um, I wonder if we could put the machining bench long ways. Or we might be able to get the carpentry bench in there. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. I, of course, use the carpentry bench to make sticks because I don't have the talent for doing that from wood. I just find the carpentry bench is pretty darn easy to make um, so it saves the talent point for other things okay well, let's put the wood in here and so that's completely full uh, what's it gonna take to make one storage thing I don't use on these temporary missions I don't really bother with them that much, but... Copper, I'm pretty low on, but I did find another cave. In fact, I'm completely out of copper. Except for, yeah, this little bit. Yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to take up storage space for that, so... I mean, we could put a few things in here, I guess. There's no reason not to. Let's do that. And for that matter... Um, we could also put some stuff in... Here, just to store it. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Okay, so what do we need for the hunting rifle? We are going to need... Here it is. We might be able to make this right now. Um, yep, we do. Because I, I found some more titanium. Well, actually... Now, I went into the underwater cave when I logged in, and it looked like the ore had re... Minor showers, not worried about that. It looked like the ore had re-popped, um, so I got more of all the high-end ores. So that definitely worked out to our advantage. We need wood, leather, epoxy, and screws. Wood, leather, epoxy, and screws. Let's make ourselves a hunting rifle. Beautiful. All right. So we got that accomplished. Uh, now we need to make bullets. So I got some gunpowder in here, and we need to get some iron in there. Let's grab all of this iron. Well, let's keep a little bit of iron in there. But I got quite a bit of iron in here, too. And let's just make, well, okay, hold on. Before I burn all that, well, you know what? We got more iron. Yeah, we got more iron. I'm not worried about it. Oh, that's right. We have to do casings now. I forgot about that. All right, so ammo casings. That's new to me, and it's actually fairly new to the game. I think that only came out a few weeks ago in an update, if I recall correctly. Ah, uh, shit. How do we... Where do we... Where do we make ammo casings? Oh, I gotta learn them. There you go. Okay. So we're sitting on 46 points. 
This is probably a tier four. Well, it's probably a tier three thing, actually, would be my guess, because I think that's where we learned the bullets. You know, it wouldn't actually, it'd be super cheap to make a repair bitch. Well, hell, let's just do that. Um, yeah, let's make a repair bitch. Then I don't have to make a, a titanium knife. Even better. Where's it at? There it is. We just need to put 12 stone in there. Uh, also need to put a torch down here. And that is my last torch. So I want to make another one just to make sure we always have a backup torch. Oh, do I not have any sulfur? I think I used it all on gunpowder. Yeah, let's just pull this sulfur out of here. And we'll make two of these. And those can go back in there. Okay, what were we doing? We were... Uh, put that in there. We were gonna... We need stone. I guess I put all the stone in here, didn't I? Or not? Not all of it. Most of it. Maybe. Oh, and leather. There we go. That's actually pretty darn cheap. Oh, we're going to have to... We're going to have to move something out of here so there's room to make it. There we go. Okay, now is this something that... We're going to need materials to repair. Or does it just repair like... Wait, do we have free repair in this game? I don't remember. Some games do, some don't. Repairing requires all associated repair materials as normal. Oh, it does. Okay. So what do we need to repair this? Requires all associated materials. An active electro connection will be will will allow T4 and workshop items to. Oh shit! We got to do electrical. Wait a second. What are we? Is it because? Um, okay, so how do I know? Oh, okay. I don't know what that is. I can't tell what that thingy is. It shows an icon of it, but is that a, um, it's not a carbon paste. Yeah, I don't know what that thingy is. Okay, well, anyway, let's get back to bullet casings. That's We got a little sidetrack there. Um, so maybe repairing our workshop items is not going to be as simple as possible. Oh, 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 I see. Okay, so it's saying we ne it needs to be powered in order to repair workshop items or tier four. Okay, now I understand. Now I see what's going on. 
Okay, so I'm not I'm not sure if we're gonna bother with making electricity or not, or generator or not. We'll see. Here we go, ammo casing. Okay, that is done in the machining bench and it requires iron ingots. Okay, so to make the bullets, we need the ammo casings and the gunpowder. To make the ammo casings, we need the iron. So we need four ammo casings to make five bullets. So that means we need 80 ammo casings, I think, to make 100 bullets. No. No, 20. Yeah, we need to make 20 ammo casings to make 100 bullets if we do it from the five stack. I think. If my math's correct. Okay. So, I, l I actually like this because it's it just makes things more realistic. 10, 15, 20. Okay. Now that's only going to make 25. So I was right. We need 80 of these. Okay. Um, okay, so 5 goes into 89 or 8 times. Well, except for we don't... Yeah, I'll, I'll stop it. Once it gets to 80. Or will I? There we go. Okay, now it's at 80. Twenty times five is a hundred. That's our hundred. Okay. Oh, they changed the model on the bullets too. Look at that. That's cool. Uh, do we have different kinds of bullets now? Oh yeah, we have explosive. We've already had incendiary, buckshot shell, rifle round. So does this only work? Whoops. It only work in the pistol because that doesn't look like a rifle bullet. I've never been real impressed with the with the incendiary ammo. I wish they'd give us an upgraded like tier four shotgun. Well, maybe they have. I should look before I before I leap. Um. Where's the... Okay, hunting rifles here. No, I don't see it. If they did, it would have been down here. Very nice. Okay, so now what we're going to do is... Let's move our hunting rifle into slot number four. We're good. Okay. Fantastic. Now, what are you doing? You have, you've made five more titanium ingots. Uh, plus, we got steel in here, too. So, if I wanted to make a power generator... We need 20 steel, 8 copper, 12 electronics, a little bit of glass, and some steel screws. That's not going to be that expensive, but I am going to need to go get some more copper. Um, so I'm going to run up to these other mines that we've already mined out and see if they have also repopped their ore. And even if they haven't, like I said, there, I, I discovered a new mine that's way over that way that we can hit. But right now we need copper, mostly. Uh, but I will take more titanium, too. Well, I'll take more of everything. But I don't know where that bar is.
All right, so we have a cave entrance around here somewhere. Well, that was weird. Hmm. Okay. I thought I had um had to carve the cave, but again, um, if they updated things, then they they may have changed that. When I say carve the cave, I mean carve, you know, through the stone to get to it kind of thing. That's what I meant to say. Sometimes my mouth starts talking before my brain catches up to it. You guys are going, yeah, we know. <laughs> okay. Gonna have a... One there, one there, and one there. I'm not seeing any repop door in here, though. I, you know what? Maybe I hadn't pulled all the ore out of the underwater cave. And I thought that it did. Or maybe that specific cave repopulated. I don't know. I don't know what to say, but this one definitely has not repopulated. So let's go... Let's go down to this new cave that I found. Is he aggroed on me? Oh no, the other one is. Alright, eh, screw those guys. I don't care about them. Careful. Hair bar. And a jag. We need to make some hot cocoa, too, before we go out into the uh, Arctic. Okay, I gotta keep my eyes peeled for some cocoa. Okay, I carved, carved this open, but I haven't actually been in here yet. Yeah, it looks like it's just a small cave. Was weird. Okay, do we have any titanium in here? We have some aluminum. Decent amount of iron. And some copper. Copper is what we really need at the moment. Um, but I'm not seeing any titanium. Okay. Right, well, let's grab all the copper and the aluminum and then whatever else I have left. Uh, Capacity-wise, we'll just bring back an iron. Oh, look at that! We do have some uh, titanium. Very nice. Let's get it. Oh, actually, here, no. Use this, because this has a little more yield. Nice. I'm glad I, you know, thought to look up. <laughs> Anything else? Okay. We got a little bit more room left in the inventory, so let's go back here and fill up with the rest of the iron we can carry. Okay. Let's um, smelt the copper first and then um, the iron ore I have some iron ore sitting in here too that I'm kind of sitting on in case I need to make some more steel bloom we'll put this titanium in here 
And that will probably give us enough titanium to make a titanium knife if it turns out that I'm not going to make the power thing. Uh, the power thing as in the generator. The thing is, is we have to make both the generator and the tool to use the generator, and we also have to make some biofuel, which means we have to make a biofuel. Yeah, you know, the more I think about this, the more this might, might not be really worth our while, because we're about ready to go and and get this mission going. Um, got some more. Should have some more meat out here. That must have gone out because of the... Uh, the rainstorm. Let's throw this in here. Actually, I want to salt this first. And then we can salt this. Okay, so why, while we're waiting for that stuff to smelt, I'm going to go see if I can find some cocoa. So we can make some hot cocoa. Okay, guys, we're back at the base. Um, I've decided I'm not going to bother with the electric generator, but what I am going to do is make a pot-bellied stove so we can make some fish curry to take with us. Uh, so let's see. Do we do that in here? Yeah, so we just need 40 iron and 6 copper to do that. Um, let's take... I'm like completely full here. I uh, also want to cook this bacon up too. So let's throw that in there. And we can cook the fatty T-bone as well. With this salting station that we have now, it just makes early and even, you know, mid-game, well, it actually makes all food better because you can salt everything. Um, okay, so we're going to need to make some thermoses. And that, I think we make in here. Canteen. Fire extinguisher thermos. So we're going to need steel, a glass, and epoxy. Let's grab a stack of silicon and throw that in here. And we'll get that, the glass going. I'm going to close that door. Let's sleep. Okay. And let's see, what was I going to do next? I was going to turn this bone into epoxy. However, before we do that, um, I want to make... Some more suture kits. I'd like to have maybe 10 of those. So we need to make seven more. That way we have a full stack of those when we go into the Arctic because if we have to deal with polar bears, then yeah. Because polar bears. Okay, let's put this epoxy in here. And I'm going to split this in half and put a little more wood in here and a little more wood in here. What kind of storm we have? Just a normal storm. Okay, that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Right, now we will take the rest of these bones. Uh, let's pop off our bone sickle first and then we will turn those into bone meal I also grabbed some coffee because when I f first went out I wasn't finding any cocoa but then I started finding a bunch of it uh, so I was going to make coffee in case we didn't find the cocoa but we did so we're good all right, now back to here. Pot belly stove, we need 
six copper, 40 iron ingots. That, that. Um. that and we need some epoxy so we'll grab that epoxy back out of here temp temporarily and let's make a pot belly stove ah oh, dang it all right try it again there we go put that in here put those back in there figure out where we're gonna put this Actually, we don't need this. It was uh, something I didn't really, I guess I didn't really think through all the way. But it is what it is. It wasn't actually that expensive to make. That's the good news. You'd think something like that would be a lot more expensive. Very good. Um, there. Let's just grab some wood off of this. We'll stick that in there, and then we're going to... Yeah, we can make stews in here. We could do... Well, fish curry is the main thing. That requires the new stuff. Can't really do roast veggies because we don't have squash. We don't have mushrooms for stew. If we ended up coming back here, though, we should grab some mushrooms and then we can make some stew. Now we can make crispy bacon, too. Did I already cook that bacon up? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, anyway, whatever. Not a big deal. Let's throw that in there and salt it. And throw that in there and salt it. about that we can we can repair it when it's all done and I'm gonna try and keep up with it okay uh, thermos we need glass and steel and epoxy let's grab all the steel and glass out of here well I don't actually have a lot of room in here let's take some of this iron back out of here we got lots of iron in here let's stick that in there Let's make three thermoses. Um, okay, now... For cocoa... Hot tea is... 10C temperature. Gorse is 10C to temperature. Hot cocoa is less food consumption. Hot coffee is stamina gin. I think I the reason I like the cocoa is because it slows down your food consumption, which counters being cold, which would, you know, which um, speeds it up. So let's put all these in there and make some cocoa. And do these stack once they're... I don't think they do. So we'll have to come back. No, we'll be fine. Never mind. We'll be good. All right, now, do I have enough to make a titanium kniffy? Let's grab this. Combat knife. 
Titanium knife. Yes, we have enough. We just need some carbon fiber, steel screws, and epoxy. We've got steel screws there, some epoxy here. And we just need to make some carbon fiber. That is going to need some aluminum and some epoxy. Uh, actually, here, we can make some more epoxy. Grab a stack of aluminum out of here. Did it say we needed six of these? Seriously? We're short one. Wait, how many did it say we needed? Oh, no, only four. Okay, we're good. We got this. in here to make the carbon fiber. Uh, all right, let's repair. Grab the carbon fiber out of there and make ourselves a titanium kniffy. Beautiful. Okay, I think our bow's in pretty good condition overall. Um, if we... I mean, I don't know what's going to happen in this quest, or in this mission later on. Uh, but because this is sticks, uh, the missions are usually a little bit more than I expected. I'm expecting them to be. So we might want to make a recurve bow as a backup bow. So let's grab all of that, put it in here. And we're going to need, guess what? More epoxy. Yay. That's not going to be enough epoxy. So we might need to make the other kind of epoxy, which is going to be sulfur and tree sap. We've got tree sap. We don't have any sulfur other than what's in here. Let's pull what's out of here. And then I'll, I'll just have to go get some more sulfur. I'm going to run out and get some more sulfur. You know, we need to go fishing if we're going to make fish curry. Ah, uh, balls. Am I out of bone arrows? No. Well, I actually was. Get out of the way, bird. Shit. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, he got us. Oh, no. That's terrible. Yeah. Fighting these things in the water is bad news, man. I should have actually started shooting them in the water. I didn't need to get on to shore first, but whatever. All right, we'll repop, recover our stuff and keep on keeping on. Don't really care about the penalty. Um, we are gonna need to be able to get to it though. Without that guy aggroing on us again, maybe he'll bugger off. If not, we might have to pull him away. Don't really want to run into any wolves right at the moment since I have absolutely nothing on me. Let's um eat some berries for the stamina boost. There's a Komodo. He shouldn't hurt us the croc I'm concerned about. Yeah, he's still around. I hear him. I just don't see him. Oh, he's right there in the water. Okay. Hmm. We might be able to sneak up and get our stuff. If not, we're just going to grab it and run.
Okay. Normally I'd get vengeance, but I want to want to save my ammo. In fact, I'm going to actually make more ammo too before we we leave. Make sure there's no crocs over around here. Okay, let's try and get some more fish. Try not to die this time. Lots of piranha around, which actually makes fishing quite easy. Though I am looking forward to the fishing mechanic when we get it. That's going to be fun. Not a croc right on the shoreline waiting for us. And we got a poison, so I'm gonna take one of those. Let's go make some fish curry. What the hell is that? A festering wound. Alright, because. I have a deep wound that I didn't take care of, so we'll take an antibiotic, and that'll fix that. Um, an extremely effective wound with an attack. From an attack counter with anti... Oh, anti-parasitic. Oh, shit. I'm not sure how difficult anti-parasitic is to make... So if it's going to be a huge pain in the butt, I'm probably just going to let this wear off. Yeah, that's a nasty debuff. We probably better actually make it. Because does that get, like, worse if you don't treat it? Oh, that dare scared me. Okay. Let's throw the fish in here. Uh, so we got the soybeans and the fish. What else are we? What else are we missing? Oh shit! We need animal fat, uh, which means we need to make a cooking bench. Uh, nothing's ever easy. Not that making a cooking bench is difficult. It isn't. All right. Grab some iron out of here. Cooking station. Turn all that into epoxy. Um, I don't know where we're going to put this. Since we are just about ready to get out of here. I think I'm just going to stick it right here. I know that's not pretty, but it is what it is. Now, grab that and turn it into that. Um, we'll also turn this white meat into more animal fat. Okay. Now, we can make fish curry. Okay. So, can we make the anti-parasitic stuff? Antibiotic. I don't even have that learned. Uh, tech tree. That's going to be... we got to learn this one first. Then we have to learn anti-parasitic. Where are you? Right here. Oh, we're gonna need reed flowers. Okay, so to make, yeah, we need that. Okay, let's go look for some reed flowers real quick. 
usually find those along a lake shore. Okay, I am not finding any reed flowers. That, I hope that means then that that thing just wears off and it doesn't escalate. Because if it escalates, we might be in trouble. We might indeed be in trouble. Croc right there. There's another croc. Jeez, they're all over the place. Okay, let's take some food. Okay, it just wore out, wore off, and didn't escalate, so we're good. I was a little concerned about that. But apparently our body healed itself. And there's a lot of piranhas in here. Goodness gracious. But, like I said, it does make fishing easier. Okay, let's grab these fish curries and get them salted up. Nice. This is some great food. Um, all right, let's look at this again. Sweet corn soup. That's going to give us 100% stamina. Uh, we can't do mushroom soup. We can't do stew. We can't do stir fry. We can't do roast vegetables. We can do crispy bacon, though, if we can find a couple more hogs. Put that stuff in there. All right, so I think what we're going to do is we've got lots of iron and lots of gunpowder. Well, not lots of gunpowder, but a decent amount. So we're going to make another stack of... Let's just do 20. And make some more bullets. We're going to get everything repaired that we can repair, and then I think we're going to... And we'll... Oh, what time is it? Yeah, we'll probably sleep, and then we'll head out in the morning. Uh, but we are out of time in this episode, so I'm going to let you guys go here. I'll get all, everything situated, get, uh, get sleep done, and get everything else ready to go. And then I'll start the next episode, and we will go out into the Arctic and continue this mission. So, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.